Connor and welcome back to another Train Sim World for Christmas video. We are on the East Coast Mainland and now we've evolved onto Train Sim World 4. And uh, yeah, we're going to be on the East Coast Mainland. I think we're going from Doncaster to Grantham or New York Northgate, one of the two. Uh, where are we going on this one? We're going to Grantham and it's non stop to Grantham. Uh, so we're going to be skipping out Retford and New York Northgate. So it's quite a fast run. Uh, and almost all of the line, almost. After 80 miles, you get on this route. Uh, let's uh, register that. There you go, and also put on the safety systems. Right, we don't really need to do that, but we'll do it anyway. A bit of you, a bit of you, uh, and a bit of you as well. Trying to scream in at us. TPWS and AWS operational. operational. Right, let's get the door shut. This is if we would have a guard on this service. So I'll press B twice. No, don't do anything, does it? Okay, maybe not. Right. Uh, let's get going. So it is uh, it's Grantham next, which is, well, as you can see by the mileage, 47 miles away. So just a little way away. As we begin our journey from uh, Doncaster. I don't think I've actually driven this route in there, actually, uh, have I? Possibly. That's quite nice in the snow. Especially at this time as well. Little rolling brake test. Yeah, they seem to be working alright. So we're starting from the north and making our way south. Let's work as a little hoot there. Cool, out we go. Then we bump across to the uh, well, up to this line here. And now we can speed right up to 100, I think it's 100, but it goes up to 125, like just round the corner. Uh, we are formed of nine coaches on this service. So we are a relatively long train. The longest you know what the one you can do is ten. Get those wipe settings down actually. Don't need them to be that fast. Right, let's go. Probably not even that fast either. Let's pop it down again. It's not a blizzard just yet. Yet. There we go, that's more intermittent now. Yeah, is that too slow? I think it will do for now. Yeah, we'll speed it up. By the time we get to the 125 board, we should be alright. I've got to try and remember the speed limits on this route. It's been quite a while since we've uh, played this route. Well, there's not many speed changes though. I know uh, there's, there's, a hun there's a 110 mile an hour limit. Uh, sort of just outside of Doncaster, Doncaster, uh, and through after Retford it's down to 120. I think it's down to 115 as well. And then Newark Northgate you get 100 mile an hour through there, so we should be alright. Just sort of re-familiarising ourselves, which well, it's all right. Yeah, this is the East Coast Mainline route, the one, one of the base routes for Train Sim World 4, uh, which if you had the Deluxe Edition comes with the Flying Scotsman as well. But we're not going to do that as a video, as it's sort of part of the East Coast Mainline as it is. Although you can now buy it separately. Off we go. Didn't actually seem to lag very much either coming out of Doncaster. When sort of this first came out and when all the sort of old stuff came over, you used to get a fair amount of lag um, at that yard there, but it seemed to be alright. So that's good. That, that is good. There's only 30 minutes to Grantham. I reckon it might be a little bit more than that, but we'll see. There's a little five coach service. I'll try and do the little five coach one. 
Whenever you're in this train, it's got to be the 9 or 10. They are the best. About 117 miles an hour. I can't remember what sort of marker for the 110 is. Basically, I think it's just after this straight. This will go straight for quite a bit, and then it's down to 110 as you sort of veer around the corner. I know there's a warning board for I'm pretty certain there's a warning board for it. I don't know if it has an AWS magnet. But I think there might be a warning board. So we're now going 123 miles an hour. Which is pretty, you know, impressive. Going that quick. I think there is a warning board. So I always sort of slow it down too early and then I see the warning board. I'm like, oh yeah, we could have just waited until that. I could be wrong though. So I'll just keep uh, keep an eye out. Yeah, this is top speed in the UK for domestic trains. Well, oh, actually, well, excluding high speed one, where it goes up to 140 miles an hour. That, that's like a special. Because technically that runs on sort of a French high speed line. So that that's a special in its own way. I'm ready to come down for that 110. Already going at a relatively well, we're sort of just letting it come down now, 117. So I know it's not far off. I feel like it's at they're coming up now, so I'm gonna pop that down to 110. It might be too early, but oh well. No, hang on, there is a warning, but there's no AWS magnet for it. We're now at 110, and we've got a neutral section as well. There you go. Ready for that. There's the 110. As we sort of veer around this corner a bit, start, the light's starting to fade now. And we've got one more video to go after this, uh, and that is the Blackpool Branches um, DLC. It's always great fun. That's a neutral section. There we go. I'm pretty certain I can, I can, I can hear the ambient sounds of birds tweet. Yeah, I can, I think. But it's like we're inside a cab rocketing along at 110 miles an hour. Wouldn't we be able to hear the birds tweeting on the outside? Extra effects. This really does look nice. I don't think I have done it in the snow. But it looks really nice. Because you haven't got that sort of where the um, the snow's like dark. No, the, the snow's really white, sort of within, sort of you know, on or near the lines, sort of within the four foot, six foot. It's all sort of quite, you know, really white. And then on the outside, it's all sort of well darker. It just looks a bit funny, like on Blackpool branches. Which well, actually, we'll see that after this. In the snow, it looks a bit sort of. Now. Let's pause the game before it gets too dark, and we'll get a get ourselves a uh, a screenshot. Because yeah, soon enough it's going to be too dark to do so. So we don't want to don't want to do that. I think that will just do. Let's just go with that. There we go. So we're speeding right the way back up now. That pinky sky is awesome. Yeah, I think this service was 15.45. Um, so yeah, obviously slightly un out of sync with real time. Well, there wasn't really any sort of good service at bang on sort of four o'clock. This was the closest thing. So it won't be too far to Retford now. Well, when we're not stopping it, we'll be fine. I'm right the way through. And when we do start going uh, through it, we'll come down to 120 miles an hour. The passing loop. Has anyone ever overtaken a freight train or something in the passing loop yet? Even the Flying Scotsman, maybe you've been able to overtake that. we 
absolutely floor it down. Uh, the speed on this is about 125 most of the way. It is a very quick uh, route. And there's not many stations either. I mean, there's yeah, Doncaster, uh, Retford, Newark Northgate, Grantham and Peterborough. So it's at five stations in 80 miles. So it is, it's a racetrack. Absolute racetrack. Yeah, hopefully everyone is enjoying their Christmas. This will be, of course, premiering on Christmas Day. So uh, well, hopefully everyone is having a good day so far. Maybe you've just watched the uh, the King's speech and now you're tuning into this. Maybe maybe you're even opening your presents now. Um, but yeah, I know. What's everybody doing? Put it in the chat or put it in the comments. I'll probably see if it's in the comments. Whereas if if if, if it's within sort of the live premiere chat, I, I, I doubt I'll be in it. But you know, I might pop by. Yeah, we're coming up to Retford. Well, soonish. Well, this is like a really long stretch. This bit Doncaster to Retford. And then the other really long bit's Grantham's Peter, but that which just goes on forever. But sort of in between that, Retford's and you're at Northgate, and you're at Northgate to Grantham, so we'll just feel really sure. So we're sort of, well, we're really going less than 120. There's a neutral section. So basically just put your power brake candle to, well, off. I don't want to blow, blow the uh, circuit breaker, which I seem to every time on Vorarlberg, even though I'm in all. I used to think it, a neutral section was though you actually put the reverser in neutral. But I found out it wasn't, because every time I do that, the emergency brakes would slam on. <laughs> so don't do that. There's the 120, and it's down to 115 or even 110. 110 or 115. I don't think it's any less than that. But yeah, this route does look. This is one of those routes which does look good in the snow. Certain routes look a bit sort of poor in the snow, but this one, it looks good in the snow. That's coming up now quite soon actually that 115. Is there a warning board for it? Is it 110? I don't know. It's been a while. It's definitely coming up though, because now we're sort of on this quite well, quite a bit of a corner. I don't know if this one has no, it doesn't have a warning board. Is that a whistle board? That's a whistle board. I'm already going a bit of a lower speed now. There it is there, what is it? 105, 110, it is a one, well, 115, okay. That's alright then, we're going one, what are we going, 108 at the moment, 109. So it's a considerably quick run. And some services you can do on this route will run non-stop all the way between Peterborough and Doncaster. 80 miles non-stop. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's really nice doing that. So, well, when you're doing huddles, you've just got to concentrate for those full weight. Well, I don't know, you can sort of switch off, but... See, that's the thing about driving huddles. You just don't have to look at any of the graphs, any of the things coming up, because you just know when the speed limit's coming up. So, in a way, once you're sort of at the set speed, and you know that set speed's going to be, you know... 125 for the next few miles. You sort of can, you can sort of switch off in a way. Obviously, you, you shouldn't really, but in a way, if you fit, you can switch off. I think it's sort of the same as um, what I've heard in real life, sort of. You know the route so well, you know where the speed limits are, you know where all the signals are, 
the sort of when you sort of non stop, you know, the speed limit's not going to change for a while, you can sort of just sort of not switch off, but you can sort of go to a, a lower mode of concentration for a little bit to then sort of regenerate high concentration for when it all changes again. And Uh, through New York Northgate, it is 100 miles an hour. Well, uh, well over the flat crossing, it's 100 miles an hour. Uh, back up to 125, uh, all of the way to Newark. Until, yeah, the uh, 100 limit over the flat crossing. Which is still a fair distance away. snow coming up. This is a really, really nice run. I mean, the snow on here looks fantastic. As I say, you just don't have where it's really white on sort of within sort of the the line and then to the side it's all grey and just sort of almost like dirty snow. It just consider it consistently looks good across the whole screen. I mean, yeah, at this point, well, actually, now there's a double yellow, so you sort of have to switch on. It's like, oh, back to thinking mode. Not great now. I think this is to do with the level crossings along here. There's quite a few level crossings, so you get double yellows and they tick up to green quite soon after. But yeah, on a bit like this, I mean, now that straight line, 125 miles an hour, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we don't sort of have to worry too much about trespassers and stuff like that. It's, uh, it, you can sort of just switch off or well, not switch off but just go to a lower concentration level you don't have to be like oh, glued to the screen well you do have to keep an eye on the speed as well we're going 123 at the moment I've got a feeling for the next video if we do it at 5pm it's going to be dark so I might have to tweak that a little bit, maybe do that one at four as well. So we don't really want it, we don't want to be in dark. Although well, dark snowy and that green light. We know when we're coming up to Newark North Gates you've got the signal box and you sort of after the signal box you turn to the left and then you turn to the left again and on that straight is where you've got to come down to 100 for the flat crossing and then after Newark Northgate it's just 125 near enough all of the way to Grantham well there is a 115 just outside of Grantham and there is also a 100 through Grantham but hopefully we won't be going 100 through Grantham so otherwise that uh, was screwed sections between stations on this route are, uh, yeah, well, near enough 20 miles <laughs> between between the lot. I mean, more than that for some. So you don't really have to, yeah, worry about missing the stop. Or missing a stop, so, yeah, they're all really, really far from each other. But yeah, this is one of those cool services where you get to run non-stop for about two thirds of the route. Or really three quarters of the route. Ish. 
there's a neutral section coming up. So uh, I'll put that into uh, well off. There it is. But you don't you, you don't lose any power. I know on Vorarlberg you do because circuit brake always goes and you have to redo it. But here's the signal box. So we're not too far off Newark Northgate now. And then from Newark Northgate to Grantham, I think that's probably the smaller section between the stations. That bit's really quite small. Or short. So we're going around to the left. And then we then go around to the left again, and then we're sort of on a straight all the way into Newark Northgate. Slowing down fairly soon, not just yet. About now. There's the warning for the 100. A little bit of wheel slide there, just a tiny bit. Although we are down for the 100. Alright, there we go. See, 100 mile an hour over the flat crossing. There's the 100. And it's best to just straight back up. And here is Newark flat crossing. And back up to our, uh, was that 125. As we then absolutely fly through Newark Northgate station. sidings there. I always wonder what service that actually then does for. Lovely job, Lee. So yeah, this next bit's actually fairly short down to uh, Grantham from New York Northgate. So it's 125 and it comes down to 115. I know that 115 is on a bit of a corner. Now you go around one corner, which you'd think, oh, this could be 115. And then just after that, there's the 115 when you go around another corner into the, uh, I suppose, Grantham North Tunnel. I don't know what the tunnel's actually called, but something along those lines. Again, this is how good this snow does. Uh, how good this route does look in the snow looks great. I suppose this is also mostly just open fields. Well, that one didn't change the green, so I'm going to start slowing down. Um, yeah, I suppose it's mostly open fields. You don't get the hills in the distance where sort of it looks a bit like, ooh. So it just, well, it just looks good. Oh, you got a green light. It just looks good all round. Probably actually looks better in the snow. So when you sort of do the other months where there's no snow, uh, the field's going to look sort of a bit barren. But with the snow on top, it looks quite lovely. There's a little uh, wheel slipping, but I think we are all right now. We'll get a bit of sand down. Oh, I think it was applying the um, sand automatically, actually. Speed back up. Yeah, almost at journey's end, but it's been a nice journey. That some that light slowly, well, quite quickly, is now fading. So yeah, I think for Blackpool, we'll probably have to set it back to four o'clock because if we do five, it's just going to be too dark and you won't see anything. And we don't really want that. Go 
boat. They are fairly turned down to that 115. There's a northbound service on the down line. Yeah, there's a, there's a corner to the right, and you're like, oh, has the 115 already started? But it doesn't, and then there's another corner to the right, and that is where it starts off. Or curve. Well, at least if memory serves me correctly. Here's the first right hand um, curve. And you're like, oh, why well, is the 115 not started yet? And it then straightens out again for a bit. What is uh, Yeah, yeah, it's straightening up. And then it's on the next corner, or next curve, where it comes down to 115. Coming up, well, just up there. If memory serves me correctly, because yeah, we're going to go for a tunnel through the, under those little hills there. So we'll slowly start popping that down, just gradually. But there we go, we're at 115 now. That sky looks awesome as well. <coughs> oh, apologies, everyone. <laughs> I couldn't get to the mute button in time. There it is. That's, I believe that was a 115. And once we're through this tunnel, this tunnel's saying it's quite close to Grantham. You sort of come out of the tunnel and it's all sort of built up and sort of a straight all the way down and you curve around the corner and Grantham's on that corner. trying to start to break. Been really nice weather. But then it's a TSW uh, 4 route, so that's sort of what you, you expect. Don't need the wipers on in the tunnel. Yeah, shortly arriving into Grantham Station, so we're looking for the nine coach stop marker. A little bit of breakage. So it's not too far after you come out of that tunnel. Well, it's not too far. Snow's also stopped now. We're out of the tunnel. Grantham is not not as not snowy. Well, it is snowy, but it's not snowy. Not that even the AWS magnet is just it's just all covered, so you can't see. Coach stop mark, that is what we're uh, looking out for. Got a single yellow there. Just about see the magnet peer peeking out from under the snow. Only just. So the next signal is showing a danger aspect. So we want to be going fairly slow because of the uh, conditions and there's also an overspeed monitor on here as well so if you're going too quick up to the red you're screwed which I have done once before at Redford so 
We want to come our normal sort of 40 miles an hour into the station. That's what we would usually do on a good day. Coming at about sort of 25-ish. Sort of pending that red light. That was a really, really nice run. I haven't played this route in a little while, so it was, that was lovely to sort of come back and uh, get some of that. platform as well. I love the way sort of the snow looks like it's sort of melted off that. Not sort of not melted but so you just sort of the water on there. And you can actually see, I don't know if they've purposely done it that way, but you can see the snow um, against the side, against the edges, which is what you get told to do. When, when it snows you, you're supposed to sort of shovel the snow inwards instead of onto the track. So I don't know if that's purposely like that. Uh, but if so, fantastic. Well, this is Grantham, and that is Journey's End from us. Ah, oh, really? I'll quickly turn the vigilance off. Vigilance, go off, go away. I don't know why it still does that. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your Christmas, and I hope you'll see you in the next one, which is for Blackpool. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.